Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Veed. We're going to run through some of the basics, and I'm going to show you exactly how to use some of Veed's tools so you can start creating professional social media video content. And before we get started, here's the video we're going to be creating. Hey Instagram, I'm just making this video to say thank you for all the love and support that you guys have been showing on my so the video I'm going to be creating today is a video for my Instagram account and I feel like this video will display most of Veed's tools. And with that being said, let's get started. So on my computer, I've opened up a new project in Veed's project editor and now I have to upload my video. I want to upload the video that I'm going to be turning into an Instagram video or it could be for any other social media platform. To upload my video, I can either click on the upload video slash audio button or I can click on the little drop down arrow to the right of that. And here I have four options. I can import a video from my device, from the camera, Dropbox, or a link. If I click on my device, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the video that I want to open, edit, and then later on share to social media. So now, as we can see, my video is in the V timeline, and we can also see it on the video canvas. And just to show you, in the bottom left, we have the play button, and if I click on play, we will see my video playback. Hey, Instagram, I'm just making this video to say, Okay, perfect. Now to get started and to begin editing my video, the first thing we're going to do is trim the clip because as you noticed, I repeat myself twice in the beginning. So if I click on the video clip and I want to trim to about here where the playhead is, right? I'm going to hover over the left handle of the clip, click on it and then drag it all the way until roughly where my playhead is. And then I'm going to bring the clip back to the beginning on my timeline. So the video always starts from zero. And now if I place it back from the beginning, I should have the trimmed clip. So if I click on play, Instagram, I'm just making this video to say thank you. As we can see, I've trimmed it a bit too much. So I'm gonna click and drag it out and then click and drag the handle again. And if I put it back from zero, play. Hey Instagram, I'm just making this video. Okay, so that is perfect. Now the next thing we're going to be doing is actually changing the canvas size because this is video content for social media and we're going to be posting this to Instagram. I want this post to be square. This is currently the 16 by nine aspect ratio, which is the YouTube channel aspect ratio, but I'm going to turn it into a one by one square aspect ratio. So in the top right, we actually have the canvas size drop down menu and if I click on this, we can actually change the aspect ratio very easily to square. So now I've changed it. As you can see, the video canvas is square. So if I play it back, the love and support that you guys have been showing, we actually have a square video. Now, what you might notice is that I'm a little bit off-centered. So what I'm gonna do is actually just click on the video. I'm going to drag myself until I'm a bit more centered and then just click and drag this till it's roughly roughly centered in the middle. And what you can do, if you click on the video tab in the top left here, you can quickly just click on fit to frame if you want your entire video to be in the frame or fill frame if you wanna take up the entire thing. So what you can do is potentially do fit to frame and then you can resize it to exactly how you want it and where you want to be. And basically what I'm going to be doing is actually leaving some space at the top of my clip because the next thing we're going to be doing is actually adding text. So if I click on the text tab in the left toolbar, I'm gonna click on the add new text button and I'm going to type out thank you in capitals. So as we can see, I've got the text that's appeared on screen. I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna change it to blue and then I'm gonna change the font to Anton and also the font size to 96 and the layout to center. So now I'm gonna click and drag my text, bring it up to the top and we're going to reshape it using the edit box and I'm just gonna click on the pink dots. There we go to resize it. So it's roughly at the top center of my video. Now, if I click on it and I use the arrow keys on my keyboard just to nudge it a tiny bit in the direction I want it to go. Now, the next thing we're going to add is subtitles. And the reason being is that there are a lot of people on social media that consume video content with the sound off. So adding subtitles allows you to reach these silent watchers. So to add subtitles, the subtitle tab, which is just above the text tab, if we click on this, we have the option to upload a subtitle file if we already have one, to manually add subtitles or automatically add subtitles. Now, this is my favorite tool with Aveed, the auto subtitle tool, if I click on this, select the language that I'm talking in and then click on start. Veed will then start to automatically transcribe all of the audio in your video into text and turn this text into subtitles and place it correctly throughout the entire video. Now, as we can see, Veed has finished transcribing all of the audio into subtitles and we have the subtitles that appear in three different areas on the screen. We have the timeline at the bottom, the subtitle editor on the left, and then the actual video canvas, we have the subtitles at the bottom. The first thing we're going to do is style our subtitles. Now you can position your subtitles anywhere you want on screen. I'm gonna place them at the bottom 
And then if we click on the style tab in the subtitle editor, we can actually change the font. We can change the font size, the layout, also the color. And the color, I'm actually going to make it blue again, but we can also choose from a bunch of different presets right here and choose your favorite one. I'm gonna choose this one, except like I said, I'm gonna make the color blue. This one has a bit of a black drop shadow. So if I click on the advanced options, I'm going to change the color of this drop shadow to a darker blue. And I kind of like the way this looks. So now if I click play. Hey Instagram, I'm just making this video to say thank you for all the love and support that you guys have been. As you can see, I now have my video with the title and subtitles, and this is already looking amazing. So the next thing I'm going to add is a progress bar, just like you see on a lot of entrepreneur style Instagram content, such as Gary V. If we click on the elements tab, in the left toolbar, we have the progress bar element at the top. So I click on this, then I click on add progress bar, and then we have a progress bar that adds straight away onto our video canvas. So I'm going to first of all change the color. So I'm going to change the front color to blue again, and then the back color, I'm going to leave it as white. And then I'm just going to resize it and bring it all the way to the edge. And then I might nudge it down a tiny bit, just like that. So now if I click play from the beginning. Hey Instagram, I'm just making this video to say thank you for all the love and support that you guys have. As you can see, we can see the progress bar making its way across the screen. And when I get to the end of the actual video, the progress bar will be at the end. So this is perfect. That's the easiest way to add progress bars to your videos. Now I'm going to be adding some background music. So to add background music, we're going to click on the audio tab on the left here and click on the upload audio button. I already have my background music ready here. So I'm just going to select it and then click on open. And now, as you can see, it's imported into the timeline. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually trim it. And I'm going to trim it all the way down to here. That's perfect. And then the volume, I'm going to turn the volume down to 10% because I want it to be very low background music. What I might end up doing is actually choosing a random section from the song. So I'm going to, again, just trim it like that. It's just, just random background music. It's going to be very low. So now if I play it from the beginning again, hey Instagram, I'm just making this video to say thank you for all the love and support that you guys. So this is perfect. And I'm very happy with the way my Instagram video is looking. And what I'm going to do now is just click on the download button in the top right. And then Veed is actually going to start to render my video project. And then once it's finished rendering, I then have the option to download it to my computer or share it to social media platforms such as Facebook or Twitter. However, I'm going to download it straight to my computer because I'm going to be sharing it straight to Instagram. So as we can see, now this is finished rendering, I have the option to go ahead and just click on the download video button here and the video starts to download to my computer. Now, what I'm going to do is actually head back to Veed. And if you remember, I actually said, if you're watching this on my story, swipe up. So now in my projects, I'm going to click on this project that I've just made and I'm going to duplicate it. So now if I open it, I'm going to rename this one. Thank you video story. What I'm basically going to do is actually change the aspect ratio of this and turn it into a story video. So if I click again on the canvas size drop down menu, I scroll all the way down to the aspect ratio, which is nine by 16. So the Instagram story aspect ratio, I select this. And as you can see, the video canvas is now the aspect ratio of an Instagram story. And all I have to do now is potentially resize some of the elements on my screen and then I'll be good to go again. So I'm just going to resize the video. So again, I'm in the center. I'm going to make the text again, maybe a little bit bigger and towards the top and I'll use my arrow keys to nudge it down a little bit more the progress bar. I'm going to make it a bit thinner just under the thank you and then make my video go all the way up to behind the progress bar. So now if I click on play, hey Instagram, I'm just making this video. I have my video which is ready for an Instagram story and just to switch it up a little bit, I'm actually going to add a filter and we've got a bunch of filters effects and I can also adjust the brightness and contrast, but there's an effect that I quite like, which is the VHS. So it makes it look like an old movie or the dusty film again. So it makes it look like it's a bit of vintage. And I very much like this. So if I click on play, thank you for all the love and support that you guys have been showing. And I think this looks really good. So what I'm going to do now is again, just click on the download button. And then once again, Veed is going to start rendering my video and I'll be able to download it to my computer and then share it to Instagram. So that is how to use Veed. If you have any questions about how to use Veed, please let us know in the comment section down below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you want to see more videos like this, head over to our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. That being said, thanks for watching.